Hey, this is Emil Churchak, and I'm with uh, Nada O'Brien from JDSU. And you knew I couldn't uh, resist doing something about near infrared. Um, so you have this wonderful invention, you, or you'd like to tell me about exactly how does your engine work? Sure. So this is probably one of the smallest near infrared engines that you will see at this show. It is based on linear variable filter as the dispersing element, okay. and linear variable filter is a bandpass filter uh, that has been wedged across the length of the filter so that you pass different wavelengths of lights across the length of it. Now. Now take that filter and put it on top of an in-gas detector and you have your near IR engine. Within this unit is an integrated light source, the electronics board, the collection optics, the detector, the LVF is all in here and that's what I'm holding in my hand. So this is an entire diffuse reflection near IR spectrometer. That's right. So all somebody has to do is put it in a final package to make it a handheld unit or a portable unit, take it out to the field, uh, measure things for detecting counterfeits uh, in pharmaceutical products, uh, adulteration in food. Uh, the same uh, architecture can be used in transmission. So here's the light source, and this is the detector and the linear variable filter. The electronics is on this end, and you put your liquid in this cuvette. The standard uh, one centimeter cuvette. Yes. So, uh, so, yeah, so you can see the key advantages are very lightweight, um, uh, very small in size, uh, low cost, truly enabling handheld applications. And since it again is working off of a computer USB port, it should be explosion proof so it can be working in a production facility. Yes, it can be in a production facility online for monitoring, for quality control. Yes, very much and so. And again, as we're doing, as you're looking at this, is the raw material identification? Yes, yeah, so this is just showing some samples of cornstarch, uh, sugar, very fast, uh, rapid scanning. Um, we can demonstrate here well, as well. We, yeah, and so we'll just take your word for it. But, yeah. you know, millisecond scans. Yes, absolutely. And again, since the, this, uh, since it's a true diode array, you're taking a snapshot, there's no movement, so you can actually look at moving samples and, and not look at different parts of the sample, but the one part, the entire spectrum. Part, yeah, and you can collect multiple samples of it. Um, it's very fast acquisition rate. Uh, no moving parts, none whatsoever inside the engine. And in, the, in, in full disclosure mode, um, I've used uh, some, an engine similar to this in one of my patents. So, I can, so I, I, I'm cheating. I knew about it before I even met you. Uh, so thank you. The technology has been around. The LVF has been around for a long time. It's a minimum 10 years that I know of. Yes, yes. Now we're trying to really enable it for spectrometer applications and showing our customers what you can do with it. So moving it from a novelty from the lab to an actual tool. Yes. Excellent. Yes. Well, thank you so much for sharing yeah, with us. You're welcome. Thanks for stopping. Thank you very much. Yes.